Times report published in October 2023, Australia is seeing massive labour shortages, with more than 300 occupations being severely understaffed. A lot of these shortages are new, a lot of these shortages are existing. The news report also compiles the data in different categories, and you can see on screen literally every role that you can think of in a regular corporate setting seems to be in shortage in Australia. Which is why the variety of work visas that are being issued in Australia have only been on the rise. Whether it is the 482 TSS, the 189, the 190, the 491, or the 191 visa, this list nearly seems endless. And today you and I are going to evaluate some of my favorite places to find visa sponsorship opportunities. One of these websites is also a government-run website where they list down all the visa sponsorship opportunities if you want to apply to. So I would highly recommend that test all the websites that I'm suggesting in this video. Yes, we're going to talk about visa sponsorships in Australia in just a minute. But before that, I have a very special announcement to drop. Globalogy, my company, is doing its first ever global tour where me and my team are coming to your city to meet you. We're visiting Dubai, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Bangalore in Jan and Feb 2024, and I really hope to see you. We're gonna do an info-packed masterclass right there. I'm gonna prop up a screenshot with all the amazing things that you're gonna take away from the masterclass itself, and I leave all the links down below. If a career abroad has been on your mind, then please come meet us, evaluate what your chances are, see what employers globally are looking for, and see which countries you you have a chance in. And now that the announcement is out, let's head to the land of kangaroos. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to give you a list of three websites that you can try while there are multiple websites. These are probably in the top 10 I have. Of course, I have a lot of other favorites as well, but let's start with these and I'm sure you will not regret this whole process. So the first one, as you must have guessed, is my absolute favorite, that's LinkedIn. If you're not on LinkedIn, please get on it. It doesn't matter whether you want a visa sponsorship job or not, just get on LinkedIn. So let's go to my screen share. The first thing you want to do is look at the job section. And here you want to type visa sponsorship as always. And then just make sure that the location is selected as Australia. So pull out all the visa sponsorship opportunities that might be there in Australia. Now, of course, this would also pull out all the roles that will state that we are not offering visa sponsorship. But that's okay because this gets us to where we need to be eventually. And once I go into filters, I see a bunch of roles, finance, marketing, head of group planning. You just want to make sure that none of them say that there is no to visa sponsorship. If there are hidden tags for yes visa sponsorship, and of course, like a lot of companies do not advertise heavily. As long as you see that it's coming up in the filter and it's not clearly saying that they will not give it to you, I think you're good to apply. So you can choose any of these roles that you want to. There are so many other ways of knowing if they're giving visa sponsorship or not. For example, if they state anything about inclusivity, if they say that they have an international team, if they say that they're an equal opportunity employer, these are all subtle ways of saying they are open to visa sponsorship because you cannot say no to visa sponsorship and yet be an equal opportunity employer. So quite a few opportunities that way that I see. If you're wondering why do I see so many finance roles, that's because LinkedIn knows that I'm a finance professional, my background is finance. So I see the roles that suits my profile more. When you do the search from your end, you'll obviously end up seeing something very different. You won't see the same results. You won't see a lot of finance roles, for example. So a lot of roles that are currently available, I highly recommend that you go in and look and obviously apply. And while most of these roles are okay and good to apply to, here's an example of the role that you should not be applying. So let's look at this particular one. You can see that it says open to work visa holders, Australian citizens and permanent residents. This is the kind of role that you should not apply to if you don't have any active status in Australia. Obviously, the search has pulled out a lot of options. We have more than 570 results here that I can see currently. I'm sure when you do the search, you'll see this as a very different number, but clearly there are opportunities. Now, if you're done with LinkedIn, I'm going to move on to my second option, which is Indeed. What I like about Indeed is that it's very direct. It's not like LinkedIn. It's, it doesn't beat around the bush quite a bit, but I don't like how impersonal it is. So we'll leave it at that and we'll look at the different opportunities that are available here. Like I can see a bunch of roles, for example, Gardner, you can see visa sponsorship, beekeeper. That's a pretty interesting role. This also has visa sponsorship available. If you are in healthcare, horticulture, center manager, so many different kind of roles that are currently available. Stable staff, ooh, that's a pretty interesting one as well. Medical intern, registered midwife, a lot of healthcare opportunities. Like they're not being able to even you know, work with their own patients. So obviously this is an amazing opportunity. If you are in healthcare, I don't think you will have to worry. So many opportunities that are currently available. Automotive technician, this is also available. 
CSS 482 is also available for you know amazing candidates. You can always sign up if you saw what came up. If there was a pop-up that came, you can always sign up for all the filtered opportunities that fit your criteria. So you can always sign up for all the visa sponsorship opportunities. That way you keep getting alerts about you know what kind of roles are available. A lot of sponsorship for IMTs, which is international medical graduate, principal, engineer. You can see if you are an engineer, then I think this is also a good one to consider. Occupational therapist, vet postdoc, research fellow, literally anyone that you can think of in the science field has something that's open on Indeed. And obviously I showed you a lot of the finance people on LinkedIn. So, you know, we've covered finance, we've covered IT. Seems like there's a decent bunch of opportunities for almost anyone and everyone. So keep looking through these resources and these websites. And like I said, sign up for alerts. It's completely free to do. There are so many opportunities that are open that you would not even know. I was watching this one amazing lady's YouTube video of how she was able to find a visa sponsorship job in Australia from India. And she mentioned in that video that the role she applied for did not even offer visa sponsorship. So most of the employers are not even stating that you know, they are offering visa sponsorship. So I would say actively apply to as many as you can. Of course, if you look for visa sponsorship and apply to those roles first, you're hitting the target, you're hitting the nail on its head. And this has maximum chance of success, but I would say apply to as many roles as you can. Now, if you're done with Indeed, we're going to move on to the third option that I have for you, which is the Australian government website. You can see that this is Workforce Australia. It's run by the Australian government. It has a lot of jobs. It has currently more than 2 lakh 60,000 jobs that are currently open. I put in visa sponsorship here and I was able to see 15, 14 vacancies. So like more than 1,500 vacancies that the government itself is advertising that's open for visa sponsorship. Again, I know a lot of healthcare related positions, but I think like industry, you can just pick what you want, like accounting, admin, agriculture, you know, banking and financial services, or you want to pick communications, advertising, 37 vacancies even in that construction, 11 vacancies even in that. Let's see, accounting, 10 vacancies even in account. So clearly a lot of roles that are open and available. And I would recommend that you sort of put the field filter if you are getting tired. I'm looking at hospitality and tourism, 97 vacancies. And many of these roles actually pay pretty well. Like, you know, you have sous chefs and like 80,000 Australian dollars. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, you know, quite well paying opportunities. Let's look at Chef, 70, 75,000, Chef. So yeah, pretty, pretty well paying. And obviously they're offering visa sponsorships. So that's amazing. I'm gonna just casually check through some other fields as well, like engineering. Let's see what we find. 51 vacancies. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. So you can go by the industry here. You can also go by age, like how old is the job? Is it permanent, temporary, vacancy, where is it? Work time, salary. I wouldn't recommend using any other filter except your field because I just feel like everything else can be negotiated. Getting visa sponsorship is of prime importance here. So just target what's needed. And that's it. Those are my three amazing suggestions for you to find visa sponsorship opportunities in Australia. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of patience. You would need to have a very detailed, proper plan for it. But if you have set your mind on it, it will happen. So just keep applying, keep the consistency, the momentum going. This is where I see most people struggle. So this is the only advice that I can give you that probably will be absolutely game changing in this process is just stay consistent in your application process. Don't ever stop, fall back or lose the momentum. And on that note, this video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what else you'd like to see on my channel, which other countries you're thinking of, because I also Always look at the comment section and decide you know what kind of content I want to create and obviously if this is your first time here please don't forget to hit the like button share subscribe turn the bell icon on I don't have to tell you all the fun stuff you know what to do I'll see you in the next video until then please make sure you take very good care of yourself stay safe Namaste.